Hi, I'm Brandon Johnson. I play Marcus in Switch Up, and you're watching Filmio. It is Lauren Delisa Coleman back with another interview during South by Southwest. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Lauren Delisa Coleman and I am here at the official Filmio Filmmakers Lounge at South by Southwest 2024 and we are about to bring you a people-packed interview. I'm really excited <laughs> because I think this is the Traveling first the like interview that we've had with a number of, of like <laughs> cast members and it's very cool. I can't we wait to get into it. So I was going to say I can't <laughs> wait to see the cast. play it's between each other yeah. and the love <laughs> as we get into the film that is switch up. So let me start by introducing everybody and then we'll kind of kind of get into what the story is about. Okay. Um, to my immediate right here is the, the ringleader of all this, <laughs> yeah. <and> right? <laughs> um, Tara Perinia, yes, who sorry. is the, well, director, producer. One of the writers. Yep. Yeah. One of the writers yeah. behind switch up. Everything. And I'll start to my far right <laughs> is uh, Christian de la Fuente. Yes. To his left is Juliette Restrepo. <laughs> to my far left is Chandrella Avery, oh, no. and to my immediate left is Brandon Johnson. And he wants to make sure that you know he is the villain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not, <laughs> Not in real life. So Not much. in real life. <laughs> and the rest of the crew are the good about guys. the positive oh, yeah. vibes, right? That's what they wrote in the yearbook. <laughs> I'm 50. But he is green <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's why I said not really. That life. matches yeah, the suit. Yeah. Yeah. That matches matchy, the suit. Matchy, matchy, and that's why he did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> funny. All right. So, Tara, let's start by giving, please, like, kind of top line. What is Switch Up about? It's about a very famous talk show host who lives in Miami. This gentleman right here lives in Miami, has best life ever, and but his ratings are dropping. So his wonderful producer comes up with the idea to go down to Brownsville, Texas, and kind of take the cameras, come to this lovely lady's soup kitchen, and show how he's a man of the people, feeding the homeless, and lo and behold, this very villainous person over here. <laughs> yeah, you know, starts a scandal and he loses everything. So while he's on the streets and while he's homeless, the kind of journey that he goes through is discovering that having the best in life is not necessarily having the best in your life mm -hmm. you know, mm. and what is the real purpose in life and he kind of you know Juliet's character helps him discover that uh, Chandrella's character helps mm -hmm. him and to some point yours as well yeah, you know, yeah. so all of it is a yep. uh, journey of self-discovery and love mm -hmm. actually yes so now how did this story come to you um, well I had done I just finished a film with Christiane um, that was on Netflix and we always want to work together again and he wanted to act and produce and I wanted to write and direct so I not joking I woke up one morning with this idea and I called him yeah. <laughs> and wow. I said what do you think and he's like I love it hurry up and write it so and that's how it all came to be and then we joined with our producer Elizabeth Avian and uh, we kicked it off yeah. and how long did it take you to create it was rather, it was yeah. rather quick. Yeah, right? Would you quick. say it was quick? And, and it was beautiful the process because w she called me and said, "Okay, let's do this idea." And then it's like a family starting to grow. And then we added one person, one person. Okay, the writer, another producer, and, blah, 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 blah. and that's why we're always together because we're a big family in a way. Mm -hmm. We're a group, big group of people that made this happen, yep. all working together. That's yes. the beauty behind this project yes. that we all really work together. But it took us like yeah a couple of years and then we're done. Um, yeah, the story I think came together in six months and then yes. Juliet and I and Elizabeth worked mm -hmm. together in a film called Deadland mm -hmm. uh, that we shot I think 2021 and yep. I met her and I was like I'm doing another film come with me. Yeah. <laughs> and he said yes of course. <laughs> and then, then we every, yeah. I, the casting was very organic. Mm -hmm. it w I guess did I did I have headshots? Did I have tapes? Absolutely. But everyone came in just a very different kind of situation. Actually, Brandon had read for another role, and I was like, that's the character. We're signing him. And then when we found Temple Baker, who was McLean, we thought they would be great together. Mm -hmm. So Brandon became Marcus, and Temple became McLean. It was so I feel cool. like you are very much in control of all of this, but this is not like where you first started. You started out at CNN. It started Tell out like a little bit about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally doing what you were doing. And I was going on mm -hmm. film sets and I was seeing all the fun the producers were having. <laughs> in, <laughs> well, quotes. in quotes. In quotes, <laughs> you know. I right. saw, and yeah. actually it was on Spy Kids was where oh. I kind of started to feel I was on Elizabeth's set and I saw all these guys sitting in chairs. I'm like, that doesn't look hard. 
Surprise! And I just okay. decided to, you know, really go behind the camera, get in the creative process, and you know, decide to go from journalism to filmmaking. Yeah, I want to be in the middle of it. I want to mm -hmm. be. And how long ago was that, though? That was in two thousand. 2001, okay. I believe, yes. So yes. a little bit of time now. A little bit of time now. And I love how you said that the cast all came together, you know, very easily. Mm, very. Because, Christian, you've done work on CSI, correct? CSI Miami? Yeah, well. And Juliet, um, with most recently, if I remember correctly, with Penelope Cruz? Uh, Love Pablo, that, that was uh, yeah. three years ago, and now with Sofia Vergara and Griselda, yeah. So what yeah. do you guys um, pull from, in you know, some of the work that you've done like that for you know, the roles that you have here in this film? Oh, well, I think everything helps you to get here. You know, like every little work that you do, not little work, but like every little thing you do, you do in life, it's like, it helps you to get here. So I'm just grateful for the, all the chances that I've had before, but I'm so grateful for this opportunity because then, as Christian said, it's just like, we all did it together. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, mm -hmm. I'm playing something completely different in Griselda, <laughs> but <laughs> you she's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but I think you just want to be honest and truthful and, um, and just have great partners in crime. Mm -hmm. And that's what we had in this right. journey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool on Griselda, by the way, because of course that's blowing up, like <laughs> unbelievably. Yeah. So yes, <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yeah. Um, Shandrella, tell me a little bit about your, your background. Um, well, I'm a storyteller, a feature, I went to performing arts high school and BFA in theater, so it's my, this is my dream, I'm living the dream that I always envisioned. Mm -hmm. um, I'm from South Central, the eldest of 10 kids. No way! So yeah, absolutely, so this is a big dream to have dreamt, mm -hmm. and I'm so thankful that I'm living it. Um, now, you know, I, I guess I got a break in doing comedy. I'm a stand-up comic. Okay. And from there, it kind of turned into Girls Beating Valley, then Napoleon Dynamite, then, you know, m more big feature films ensued. And of course, it led me all to here. I'm a producer as well. I just figured you need to diversify, mm. pivot when you need to, so mm -hmm. you're not staying idle yeah. and stagnant. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been very successful, I would say, considering the lanes that are available to us. Mm. Um, but as a storyteller, it's just wonderful to be in a play situation with people that have diversity, which we need more of that. Our film is very universal. It's completely all encompassing with different race of people. Mm. And that really is what art is about. Mm. Love it. And then what about a little bit of your background, Mr. Bill? Yeah, well. Typically playing villains are more. <laughs> yeah, well, I like to say villains have more fun, but. Uh, <laughs> Good one. You know, don't let the smile fool you. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like Chandrella, I was a comprehensive theater major, and then I uh, had a dream. We talk a lot about dreams uh, in this film and, and just in conversation in general. But uh, sold my Camaro, bought a one-way ticket to New York City, hit the ground, and started with duct tape in my shoes, spins in my jacket, and years later, here I am. Um, got pulled out to LA in 06, and uh, just kind of been vacillating in entertainment uh, as a host at times, mm -hmm. and but uh, really got my start in television and film. And so uh, when this opportunity came, uh, I literally it came in literally like December 31st. So I was putting myself mm -hmm. on tape. Yeah. New Year's Eve, wow. and uh, hours later I got pinned, and then you know we were popping bottles. It was really cool, and, and, and I'm here, and I'm just I feel really really blessed and, and lucky to be here. It, it was something. <laughs> it was something and to be here in this festival, yeah. uh, and sh shooting locally, Brownsville, South Pot, you know all that is is really cool, and bringing attention to uh, the state and filmmakers. Is this everybody's first time at South by or no? My it's my first time. Is this your first time? It is time? my first time. Our life, second time. Alive, okay. Yeah. First, first time for film. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, first, yeah. first, first time, time for film. film. I used okay. to come down here. I'm a drummer, so I would play South by in the mid '90s at like okay. emos. He used to have okay. long hair. Long hair. <laughs> <laughs> rock and Again, rock. don't let the smile yeah, fool you. Yeah. Long, long hair, rock don't and roll. Don't judge the book by the cover. Yeah, yeah. I used to look a lot different. Well, I'm wondering because you haven't. Some of you have had the chance to be in the theater the first time with an audience, and some haven't. What do you guys kind of want? the audience to take away from Switch Up? Mm. Oh my god, it has so much heart. Yeah. Yeah. I just hope for people to feel that way and connected with the characters and just feel related and, and, and hopefully they ask themselves uh, themself questions about the li like life and work and the world and, and so yeah. I and also to entertain you, give you a yeah. couple of laughs. Yeah, yeah it's, not, it's not a movie that is going to yeah. teach anything. Yeah, at the mm. end of the day what we want is to entertain people to, to take them in a journey where they can smile, they can hopefully cry a little bit and then smile again. And then that, that journey at the end of the mm -hmm. day gets you to a point that you ask yourself, am I doing the right thing in life? Yeah. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm chasing 
the right things in life. Right. I'm fighting for the right reasons. And, and then if that happens, then we won the lotto and, and, and yeah. we, we, we did what, mm -hmm. what we were supposed to do. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love think that. It also speaks a lot to faith. It speaks mm -hmm. to dreams. Yeah. It talks about service mm -hmm. and the power of service and the power of giving back. We shine the light on homelessness yeah. and, and those issues as well. And But what I really love about this film, and I saw it for the very first time yesterday. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, yesterday? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. And I hadn't seen it. And so tonally, the way that we were able to weave, um, you know, the there's, I mean, I was crying. I, literally, people were crying in the theaters, mm -hmm. and then we're laughing, we're crying, we're laughing. So the puzzle pieces came together really well in matching a, a, a beautiful balance of, again, of, of, of heartfelt, of comedy. And uh, if they walk away um, with a smile on their face, then we won. Great. Mm -hmm. Doing better. Chantal, I just wanted to go back to something that you said earlier. Sure. With, you know, kind of talking about the various kind of as aspects of your career. Sure. You said about, like, the roles that are open to us. Mm -hmm. And so I want to just kind of like touch on that because thankfully we have Filmio sponsoring, yes. you know, this lounge and their platform is to be able to really put the green lighting power back into the hands of the creator and the fan. And so I'm just wondering, you know, kind of what you might think about that kind of platform and the, the need to be able to have like that kind of opened up so it's not just like what's available to us. I agree. Thank you for that question just because ultimately we're in the United States of America which we're the most diverse I would say country in on the globe mm -hmm. right so we're all facets of people and so is art but if you're only limiting the art to a completely unique group of people that we all have to be forced to watch and see that only then that becomes completely un-American in a mm -hmm. lot of ways so this film, what I appreciate what Tara's done and even what Christian and everyone has put together, it's a whole group of women, first of all, producers, mm -hmm. that put this together outside of Christian. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I have a very strong female side. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And I love my female daughter, which yeah. is wonderful. <laughs> so we are, you know, coming together to, we're empathetic women, mm. I would say, in general. We're empathetic people. And we're cognizant of what's missing. Mm. And in this industry, if we, come together with whatever opportunities we have, whatever credits you have, to just say, I want you, 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 you. Think about the rest of the world that's watching us here in this country tell these stories. Everyone's emulating us. Mm. We're not falling after other folk. Everyone is emulating us, and we have every diverse person in this country. So why are we limiting ourselves? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why are we not exposing more conversations and narratives to the do-gooders that mm. want to do better? Love yeah. that. Wonderful. Thank Wonderful. you. Tara, you want to add anything before we wrap up? No, I'm just, I feel incredibly blessed and lucky. I'm from Austin. So I well, my, Austin, my, my yeah. very one of my very first, you know, news uh, pieces for CNN was covering the opening night of South by Southwest. Oh, so wow. to be able to uh -huh. bring yeah. all. Circle. Um, <laughs> Complete the circle. Yeah. Complete the circle. So very to be able nice. to come back here and have my directorial debut here with this mm -hmm. amazing class. We have about 14 more casts, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't all fit on your sofa. Oh, and next time. the producers yeah. that are in our, well, our audience out there, <laughs> yes, I feel incredibly lucky and blessed. And I would, would, can't wait to work with these guys again. And he's go. great. If you don't mind, I just need to add something that, thanks to people like Tara, that's yep. giving chances to us. Like I came to the States eight years ago and I barely spoke English mm -hmm. and now I'm the lead in this beautiful film. Mm -hmm. It's such a beautiful opportunity that you get from people like Tara that wants to do good and just be part of this industry and make it better. So mm -hmm. thank you for everything. And she's, right. yeah. she's very stubborn. <laughs> which is great, and you need that too. Yeah, and so is no, he, which no, is why too. we're such a great no, team. No, she's <laughs> very stubborn in a way, in a, in a very yeah, good way, well. because Persistent she's thing. been told, no, no, well, what, whatever. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. also, That's you've incredible. been told no yeah. so many times, oh, and yes. then yes. you keep Got going, and, yeah. then, right. and then things fail, and then she wants to go into that direction, she's going to make it no matter what. Mm -hmm. yeah. This project from... She's a woman. She's a woman. Yeah, from, she's she's a woman. from, from the moment, from the moment we started, well, yeah, it's like the word in, 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 in Spanish is porfiado, but because you keep going, it's not in a bad way. Right. Because it's like if you want something and uh, I want that, everybody can tell you it's wrong, yep. and then you say, no, it's right, and, and then Persist. you go against the flow. Mm -hmm. Okay, persistent. <laughs> yeah, but but then but then the, because we, from, yeah. uh, we we've been together from the process that we had the idea that phone call. Let's do this yeah, movie, so. and from that moment till now, 
a lot of things went wrong. We, we mm -hmm. even we were shooting mm -hmm. in the middle with COVID. We got shut down by SAG. It was e everything. Mm -hmm. But it was like we, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going, and that's persistent. But also sometimes, you know, when people tell you something all and, and then you you defend your idea because it, it's yours, it's then it, it's you really want to make it, and, and mm -hmm. that's the beauty about it. It's, yeah. So it's a stubborn system. A new word, stubborn system, and then we're all happy. <laughs> I call it perseverance and faith, but stubborn works too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. But I think like a platform like Filmia is definitely mm -hmm. for the oh, tower. Definitely, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, right? yes. Because then you don't have to sell somebody. Some absolutely, money. It's, it's a blessing to have something driving. like yeah. Filmio to be able to support be able to go there and yeah. to support your dreams mm -hmm. and you know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. A lot of time, filmmakers don't know what to do. How do I meet the right people? How do I get it out there? How do I even put my idea on a piece of paper? Yeah, right. To have something yeah, like that yeah. is is huge. Yeah. So that's really really behind, behind just behind the the what it happens yeah. next with Filmio as well mm -hmm. as you guys. Mm -hmm. and I want to thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Continued thank success. You. Thank you. You guys stay tuned for the very next thank interview. And I am Lauren Delisa Coleman for the Filmio Filmmakers Lounge right here at South by Southwest 2024. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Yay.